little dramatic. What is going on, everybody? Zero Straw Hats here again today. All you guys are more than welcome to call me Jordan. And I'm here today, dressed in black, to do a video I'm very sad about doing. It's been, I know at this point, a little bit old. It happened a couple weeks ago. Um, but I haven't got around to doing it. I'm upset to make this video. I'm just really disappointed. Um, but here we go. I'm going to be talking about Time Paradox, Ghost Rider. It ended. It got axed. It's over. I know this is it's very like 50-50. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. But if you guys have been watching my couple reviews I put out for it in other videos, I've talked very highly of this series. I'm a big fan of Bakuman. I'm a big fan of Steins Gate. And I got a lot of those vibes from this manga, but it was also doing it in its own way. I thought it was very interesting. Um, unfortunately, it did not go over well with the Japanese audience, um, mainly because of the whole plagiarizing thing, which really does bother me because although the series does contain a main character who is plagiarizing a work of another person, um, he never glorifies it and he never is happy about it. He's doing it simply because he doesn't want this story, White Knight, not to be told. And at this point, he's the only one who can tell it because of things out of his control and because of that he just wants to finish it through so I thought that the audience would see that and see that it's not him being a bad person and I think because of the bad rap it got in the first like couple chapters you even hear Tepe saying over and over again about how upset he is over it and how like it really truly did bother him that he had to do this but he didn't want White Knight to end because it was such a great series um, but nonetheless the series got cancelled I never would have thought when I read the first chapter of Time Paradox Ghost Rider, which I was super excited about, that it would have ended in 14 chapters. 14 chapters. That is crazy. So many really bad series, aka, like, what, how many did Bone Collection have that just ended a little while ago? Pretty sure it had more than 14. <sighs> unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So what we do get on this last chapter of Time Paradox Ghost Rider is it comes to the point where um, Tepe brings time back to normal after finishing White Knight in, in that frozen time. Um, it took him a long time to do it, but he finally did it in a way where he was comfortable with. Um, he went over to uh, Aino and told him told her that it was done, and she got really excited and kind of depressed by how good the story was. And then we get a little, you know, 10 jump, ten year jump into the future. It looks like they're married. That's kind of what it seems like because Aino was wearing a ring, and they were right next to each other 10 years of drawing manga together. It looks like they're probably married or just working with manga together. We don't really know. Obviously, we'll never will know. Um, but that's kind of how it ended, and I think it's super disappointing. I think this series, in the beginning, had so much potential. I really liked what it was doing. I think that it was very different. It did grab from other series in the past, but I think it did it in a very interesting and different way. And I think that the first few chapters were very well paced out, and it could have been good. It could have went along that way, but as you saw as it went on, it got completely like way too fast it was going all over the place and i obviously think they were doing that because they knew how bad it was doing in the ratings and how it was going over in japan i think that's why it was going so fast i really doubt it was um the manga's plan to move things as fast as he did um but from what was there in the first chapters it had so much potential the only other series that i had this much high hope for that come out recently is kaiju number eight kaiju number eight is giving me a great like feeling the same way time paradox ghost Rider did when it first came out I think time. I think that Kaiju number eight is safe. It seems like everyone's enjoying it. It's a good series, and honestly, it's a lot more mainstream, and it, it will definitely do better than Time Paradox would. But I think that Time Paradox Ghost Rider would have done a lot better if this whole thing would have happened with the plagiarizing. I don't necessarily think he was ever um, glorifying plagiarizing. I just think that um, it came off the wrong way to the Japanese fans. Really disappointing to me. I think this is probably out of all the Shonen series that have gotten axed. The one that hurt me the most. And I made a video before talking about Shonen Axe and talking about a series that I really enjoy, Hungry Joker. Make sure you, go, you guys go ahead and check that out. Um, because when that series ended, I was really upset. But I think this one uh, takes the cake. But like, like I said in the other video with time with uh, Hungry Joker, the Hungry Joker manga car went on to make Black Clover, which is doing really great right now. I don't think it's as unique as Hungry Joker was, but you know, uh, Black Clover is doing well and I'm really happy for him. So I'm going to really be keeping an eye out for this manga and hope he does well in his next, in his next work. I know this is late. I know I'm going to get ragged on by a couple of my uh, friends in the community who uh, like to make fun of me about my love for Time for X Ghost Rider. But I, I love it, man. It was a series that really hit me from first week. And one thing I love about Shonen, one thing I love about manga is when you read a chapter and it just makes you feel so much emotion. It makes you excited and it makes you just so ready for the next week. And that's what Time Paradox Ghost Rider did for me. It was right up my alley. It was my kind of story. 
And I was really, really hoping it was going to do well. I really believed it was going to be a series that was going to last in this magazine for a while. Something that was different, something that was interesting. And I thought there was space in this magazine for it. So to see it in, I'm really upset. Um, I know it's been a couple weeks now. I've been having some other things going on. And I also just kind of didn't want to talk about it for a little while, honestly. But Tom Paradox Ghostfire is over. If we ever get volumes over here, I will definitely pick up the volumes, even if it's just one or two volumes. I think I think there's about two volumes worth. Um, if we ever get that in America, I'm definitely picking it up. Don't know if we will. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. Time Paradox Ghost, Ghost Rider, it's over. What do you think? Are you happy it ended? Do you not really think it really had a space in the magazine? Are you upset it ended? What do you think about the potential of the series and what it turned out being? Um, also, there's some other series. I know that Bone Collection got canceled a little while ago. I was kind of into Bone Collection for a little while. I thought the art was terrible. That's kind of why I kind of fell off in that series. I'm interested to see what series in the magazine will get axed next. Which ones will make it? Uh, there's a lot of new series I haven't checked out yet that I need to go ahead and read those first couple chapters too and see how it goes. Um, but that's all I really got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, see you next time.